fucking Westeros. Slave all my life, and I've never been so fucking hungry. We've passed villages. We should have raided them. You didn't come here to pillage the countryside. We didn't come to get ambushed, either. But plans change. You can't believe my little brother's gone. All that bloody fool wanted was to come back to Westeros and fight for his family. I told him it was stupid, that we had a good thing going across the narrow sea. But he did it anyway. All for a family who cast him out. Who banished him to the other side of the world, but begged him to return when they needed him. He might have been an exile, but his name never stopped being Forrester. I doubt a day went by he didn't remember it. Well, maybe you're right. Because there isn't a day goes by that I don't think about getting revenge against the White Hills. I keep expecting to turn my head and see him riding beside me. <laughs> Laughing at the idea that he, of all people, could actually be dead. But then I turn and... It's just you. N no offense. It's just... A... Not how I expected this would go. Asha died a hero. Him and I, we used to sneak out of Ironrath and get drunk on mead with the Chandler's daughters. We'd pretend we were great warriors after a battle. He was Simeon Star Eyes. I was Arthur Dane. Yeah, we used to do the same thing, actually. Except it was Valerian Fire Whiskey and the Butcher's Girl. Being a hero meant something to him. Oh, I suppose he is a hero now, the idiot. If I do just one more thing in this piss life of mine, it'll be to make those bastards pay. You'll get your chance. The White Hills are coming for us, have no doubt. But before we deal with them, Roderick needs to tell his mother that she's lost another son. Roderick, where is your brother? I, I don't understand. Did Asher not arrive? No, he, he wouldn't have missed the ship. This may be hard to understand. But Asher gave his life so that I could keep mine. No! Easy, I've got you. Oh, Asher, you brave, foolish boy. Patrick. My lord, the people loved Asher. He was a legend to them. Asher is dead, murdered, but mark my words, right. we will avenge him. Any man, woman or child bearing the name Whitehill will pay the price for his death. And how will you do this? With plows and swine? Asha brought us here to fight, but Asha's dead. What's coming isn't battle, it's slaughter. You don't know the first thing about our wars. Bah! You think we can't see the difference between strength and weakness? 
Your people are terrified. <laughs> Your walls are made of wood. What's to stop us taking what we want and leaving this shithole? There is food, gold, weapons. We could make out well here. And what then, Amaya? Where will you go? North to the freezing wastes beyond the wall. Or south to die for some fool house rebelling against the Lannisters. We'll survive. Not in Westeros, you won't. You need us. Fuh! He's nothing like Usher! And you're nothing like real sound swords. Yet you want us to fight like it. What I want is for you to obey Lord Roderick. He's not our lord. Show some respect. <laughs> Doesn't mean shit to oh, me. Oh, fucking hell. Silence! If we fight amongst ourselves, we're dead. If we mistrust each other, we're dead. Either we band together, or Ironrath will be the last place any of us ever see. I bring a message. From the Lady Gwyn. Gwyn? Gwyn Whitehill? What does she say? They're on the march. They'll be at our gates by nightfall. We're doomed. We're all done. I think we're all done. Fucking great. Please remain calm. Please. Look to your lord! Look to your lord! Grab whatever weapons you can find! It's time to prepare for battle! He's lying! Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. Harida Is. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Him. Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? I promised to protect her. A wildling girl? I swore nothing bad would happen to her. I told you we couldn't trust him. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? 
a refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrod. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrod. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready! Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... Someone's plotting against me. Who? Who sent the message? No seal, my lady. No sign, neither. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie can't help us. Not now. What? 
Why not? Oh, she, she just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Don't worry, Tom. We'll figure out who's behind this. We've managed to get this far, haven't we? You're right, Lady Mira. But we ain't faced nothing like this. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him. We've secured the gates and put archers on the battlements. What footmen we have are armed and ready. Talia and Elena. In the cellars where they'll be safe. You should be down there too, Alyssa. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> He must be shedding in his britches. Get your men off my land, Whitehill. And I might let you leave with your heart still beating. I can't do that, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. All that's left to determine is how you will die. Ryan, bring the gift. No. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him. Or oh, what's left <laughs> after we fed it to the... Have you no bloody honor? Honor? Your brother would have attacked me with slaves! Ah! Take the gate! Looking to you. Return fire! Return fire!
to get off this bloody wall! That animal! He's taken everything from us! What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Roiland's fault. Because of him, the Whitehalls know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have ours. Maybe less. This won't be a siege, my lord. It'll be a rout. We need to counterattack. Hit them where it hurts. But how? They'll slaughter us the moment we raise the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Duncan, the map. Small enough party could sneak out the Poston Gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail, we'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, kill some White Hills, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I see why this is appealing. But if you're caught out there, this war is over. They'll kill you. They'll kill Ryan. They'll marry Mira and Talia to second sons from minor houses. Do you have a better plan? Because if so, now is the time to share it. No, my lord. Well, neither do I. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because Asher already paid us. Then we leave this shit-cold land. We'll either have won, or we'll all be- ah! It's up to you to hold the castle, Duncan. You'll not set foot in Ironrath on my watch. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our nights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironrock. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Call it what you want. Of course you do, Elena. This is your home now. Thank you. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. 
Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. And I plan to take full advantage. <laughs> a bold claim for a handmaiden on the run from the guard. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick 